I was a writer, always a writer. You were a writer. From the time I was a, could pick up a pencil or a pen. I also was an artist, but the artist part of me um, was submerged in the identity, um, you know, as primarily writer. Yeah, you know, people see me as quiet, not having tremendous charisma, you know, like, or anything. Well, look and at that. Then they see my art and say, wow, what? Wow. Yeah. You know, because yeah. that's really who I am. I express my writing or I express artistically that people don't know was there when they look at me. Whereas Eleanor, my spouse, mm -hmm. is, uh, she has charisma and she has, you can, she like sparkles. Yeah. And she's really out there. Yeah. And people notice her and they're drawn to her. Yeah. How does your process work to manifest a piece that is as complicated as it is? Is the complication in your personality? Is it? I, and that's a good question because um, I always loved jigsaw puzzles growing up, yeah. and I noticed that um, I love to solve puzzles in my paintings. My paintings become, the, well, what happens is I, the more complicated I make it, the more difficult I make it for myself to achieve. Like, for example, this painting. It's called uh, Red Sea Number no. 3. Okay. It won the uh, Award of Excellence um, at the Art League of Long Island okay. recently. Okay. And uh, the, uh, Dan Christoffel, who is a professor uh, at Long Island University, he told me that artists usually don't put the curve that he saw in mind. Uh, they don't put the black in with the red. He said there were things I did that was so unique and so challenging mm -hmm. that most, most artists would stay away from that. I won't, I won't be restrained by rules. I will not be told what to do. Yeah. And that's how I've always been with my art. It's who I am, I express myself, and the more difficult and complex I can make something, the more challenged I feel. What kind of and, writing did you do? Um, I wrote short stories, um, essays, novels, poetry, mostly poetry. Because I, I just want to talk about your book here, mm -hmm. Confrontations and Surrealistic Excuse Number One. Right. <laughs> I love that. Um, that is a book of poetry. Yes. Aside from the fact that you have a spectacular piece of artwork on this. So tell me about poetry. How did poetry happen in your life? Well, I was always writing poetry. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I, I put a book together of uh, my favorite poems from the time I was like 14 up. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then I published this when I was about, I think it was like 21 or so. Um, and my father had a friend in the printing business mm -hmm. and he published it in perfect binding. And I had, I think I had like a thousand copies. And, um, and it was a great process learning how the publishing is done, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, and being involved every step of the way. It's amazing business and, too, publishing. Yeah.